God bless you and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. God bless each of you. We're so happy that you guys are here with us for this next Be Responding episode. Yep, this one is entitled, Make Room for Jesus. That's right, amen, amen, and we all need to do that. That's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the name of Jesus Christ, we're gonna dive right into the Word of God. And I know we usually take some time to encourage you to subscribe and everything else, but we're gonna do that at the end. I wanna get right to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. James chapter four, verse eight says, and I wanna encourage you that you come close to God with a contrite heart, He will come close to you. Just to think about that. Come close to God and He'll come close to you. Mm -hmm. That's precious, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That is precious. Mm -hmm. Just to think about that. Mm -hmm. And in Luke chapter 2, verses 6 to 7, it says, now we're talking about making room for Jesus. Amen. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, you know, we know we just finished celebrating Christmas and um, we pray that you guys had a great Christmas with, um, this year. Um, in the midst of all things, um, we're thankful for the birth and we take time this uh, during this time of, of year where we remember the birth of Jesus and we celebrate his birth. Um, and so this, this uh, verse, these verses here are very important, but with where we're going, right? Because making room for Jesus uh, is demonstrated here, even at his birth. Um, you know, there was no room. There was no place for him to be born except in a manger. And I mean, we could only imagine the smells and how that whole situation was um, where he came to be uh, birth. And um, so we, you know, we see here that he was born in a manger because there was no room in the inn. And I have to keep saying this, how many of us, as we prepare now for a new year, I know some of you can't wait for 2020 to end, but as we prepare for a new year, I think it's the most important thing right now that we make room in our hearts, in our lives, in everything that's pertaining to who we are, that we make room for Jesus. We don't leave him in a guest house. We don't leave him on the outskirts. We don't leave him in a place that we think, okay, when I need him, I'll go to him. No, we make room for Jesus even now as we need him more than ever and as we prepare to walk in a new year in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ that's why pastor chris started with drawing near to him you know um even if you don't feel him and that's what you need to understand about faith faith is not about us feeling him right because yep. We don't always feel him near. We may not always feel him near, but that doesn't mean he's not near to us. That's why that's why the Bible is very clear. He's near to the contrite heart. He's near to those who want him, who invite him in. You're welcoming him. You're telling him I want him. So you you're making room for him when you do that. You're not leaving the door locked of your life and your heart. And, and then afterwards, I need you, God. No, you're saying, God, I need you. I want you. And I want to be prepared as I do get ready for a new year. Because we all did not see all this that took place coming this Absolutely. year, right? So in, in, in that, we see that it's important that we make room for him because we need him. Absolutely. We need him. We don't know what a day holds. And we need him every single day of our lives 
I encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, to just surrender your heart and say, God, I need you. Wake up in the morning and say, God, I need you this day. Oh, some of you may even say, yes, I'm going through so much that I say that all day long. But even as you say it all day long, say it in faith. Amen. Say it in faith. Yes. Just don't say it just to get it off your chest. Just don't say it out of exhaustion. Jesus. Don't just say it because you are suffering. Don't just say mm-hmm. it because, oh, but I'm telling you, as you say it, say it in faith. Yes. Say it in faith. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Come, Lord Jesus. God, I thank you for yes. another day. Lord, I believe you as I say, oh, precious Jesus, have your way in my life. God, I make room for you in my life, Lord, for you to do whatever you want in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, watch your hearts Mm. Mm. as you're making room for him. Guard your hearts. Yes, yes. Are you just... Mm -hmm blatantly doing whatever comes to mind, saying whatever comes to Mm, mind? Are you actually concerned? Mm. Saying, God, Mm. my life is in your hands. God, I make room for you. Lord, yes, I'm in need. Mm. I need healing. Mm. I need financial blessings. Mm. But oh God, I make room for you. Amen. Amen. I need you, Jesus. Amen. Every hour I need you. Every every second I need Say you. Say it with faith. Hallelujah. God, I need you. Yes. 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 You know I have needs, Lord. Yes. Yes. But I believe in you. I trust you. As I say it, God, I could be suffering, God. But Lord, I believe you. Amen. Amen. Make room for him. Amen. Amen. Make room for him. Yes. And as you make room for him, I want you to understand, you allow him to move on your behalf. Every time that you say, God, I want you, I welcome you, and you allow him to be your Lord and your Savior, and every single day, if you need to say, I still want you to be my Lord and Savior, that's good. That's good to tell him. And, and, and so what you're saying to him, I don't only make room for you, but I keep my room ready and open for you to move on my behalf. So I want to read this to you. Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 8. And this is important because again, with, this, the, with the times we just finished living in and we're still walking through in 2020 here and we're about to cross into this new year, we see here there's a time for everything. For everything, there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to cry and a time to laugh. A time to grieve and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to turn away. A time to search and a time to quit searching. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be quiet, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace, because with everything that takes place on this earth, God is aware, and there is a time for every single thing that is taking place under the sun. Because God knows, God knows, and he knows more than we could ever know, understand, or comprehend. And with all that, and you can go back and reread Ecclesiastes chapter 3, the reason we wanted to bring that out to you is because the most important part of it, as we walk and get ready to cross over into a new year, we need to know and understand that we need God. So we make room for God for everything that could take place 
even as we walk into 2021. We need God. We need God for every season that we may face. And for those of you that are saying, wow, this is hard, hard to accept. God knows. There may be, there may be a lot of us that may feel alone in the battles that we have faced and in these times that we've had to walk through. But I want you to be encouraged. As Jesus was born and, and who he is right now, he came to die for us, then to raise from the dead and make a way from, for us to go and be with him forever in heaven. And so he has now allowed us permission to make room in our lives and ask him to be our Lord and Savior and King of Kings in our lives. And even when you feel all alone, draw near to God because he is right there ready to draw near to you. He does not abandon us. He does not forsake us. He will not leave us alone. He doesn't turn his back on us the way others would. And so he wants us to be the people that we grab such a hold of who he is and his promises and all that he has accomplished for us. So would you now make room for Jesus? Let's do that today. You, Amen. Let's, let's make mm. room and let's give him permission to sit on the throne of our hearts, on the throne of our lives, and to be the author and finisher of our faith as he promises he would be. Would you allow that right now in the name of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Let's, let's pray. Father, we thank you for every life, every life that is tuned in and is watching this right now. There are so many, God, that are afraid. And God, I ask you, God, to cast out all fear and anxiety, Father. I'm asking you, Father, to do that for your glory, Lord. I, I ask you, Father God, to go and meet them where they are. I ask you, Lord Jesus, that as they make room for you, that you would go into their lives and meet them where they are and be the lifter of their heads and encourage them, Lord Jesus. They need you as much as we need you, Pastor Chris and I. We're asking you to meet them where they are. Go to them, Lord Jesus, and be with them and breathe upon them, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that as we make a decision to make room for you, that you come in and you have dinner with us, so to speak. You sup with us. You have fellowship with us. And you keep reminding us how much you love us. And you, you accept us. Just as you're asking us to accept you. And ask you to come in. You have accepted us. And God I thank you Lord Jesus. That as we humble ourselves. And we ask you to be our Lord and Savior. That you come now. And prepare us God. Because you know what tomorrow holds. You know what the new year holds. You know what you have planned for each and every single life. So God, we ask you, Lord, to, to come and be in the center of it all. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank, you, Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. If you guys have prayed with us, please remember, contact us right now. Contact at Respenacy.com. We love hearing from you. Let us know how we can further pray for you in the name of Jesus and encourage you. That's right. And your testimonies, ladies Amen. and gentlemen. Don't forget, we have a Respondency app. We have all the social media. We're asking you to join us because we want you to be consistently encouraged. You know, you could be traveling. You have Facebook or you're on Instagram or, you know, just, just Twitter, just different things. And that's why we ask you to subscribe to this channel so you'll always know when we're going to have something to that you know, God will use to stir you. And that's what our prayer is in Jesus' name, is to get your focus and your heart right with God and for you just to just be encouraged as we go forward. But we go forward thinking about God. Amen. Putting God first. Amen. Making room for Him. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. And remember, as you make room for Him, you allow Him to move on your behalf. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank those of you that take time to read my blogs. 
on let's take a moment.com and thank you for following me at examine moments and i want to thank those of you um that uh listen to our podcast, uh, especially our Respondency Life podcast. I also want to thank those of you that um, have um, looked at our bonfire uh, page, Respondency Bonfire page, where you can get um, t-shirts and sweatshirts and cups, other things. And a portion of that helps our ministry. So you get to have um, things that shine for Jesus, that say, pray and believe uh, when we pray we believe god and and also um you know you'll be encouraged you get to shine for jesus as you wear it for jesus and also a portion gets to be um a blessing to resplendency amen that's right we're believing god for so much amen and we're believing god most of all for you guys yes. for your hearts to be strengthened for you to be blessed in the name of jesus christ so as we wrap up this year, um, we want to say thank you. Amen. Thank you so very much for subscribing, being a part of the Respondency family. Amen. And as we go forward, we're looking forward to what God is going to do even more. We've been really Hallelujah. praying about, a lot about yes. what you know we're going to do in the new year. And God yes. is really moving. And we're grateful that He is having His way. Not what we think, but what He wants us to do in Jesus' name. So on behalf of all of Resplendency, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to... Stand Stand out out and shine shine for Jesus Jesus. Christ. Amen. God bless you. We love you. God bless you.